those temperatures topping 100 degrees. Cooling off is not just a matter of comfort this time. It could help prevent a trip to the hospital as well. Dennis Shanahan joining us live from Folsom Lake. Dennis, we know that you were able to talk with fire crews about the medical importance of beating the heat that we're dealing with right now. And Eric, here is their message. The afternoons are so hot this week that a day of fun at a place like this can quickly turn into a medical emergency without the proper precautions. 4.30 on a Tuesday afternoon. School is out, but the heat is on, and it appears everyone is indoors. With temperatures peaking above 105 degrees, we found parks abandoned, and that's a good thing from the perspective of a paramedic. Get out of the, the direct sunlight, get into some shade, get in an air-conditioned environment if you can. Sacramento Fire Captain Keith Wade says firefighters try to avoid unnecessary strenuous activity on an afternoon like this, knowing they will likely be responding to heat-related emergencies. We kind of hunker down just like we are advising other people to do in the afternoons. We're going to respond out to those calls. Copious amounts of water and <laughs> fluid. Uh, we hydrate early and often, is what we say. Captain Wade says people who work outdoors on a day like this generally know how to protect themselves. It's the people playing outdoors who run into trouble. Most of those emergencies have to deal with people who are out recreating, uh, choosing to do it at very hot hours and not properly hydrating beforehand, and they'll start to experience signs and symptoms associated with heat exhaustion, a fatigue, dizziness, headaches. Uh, a general feeling of, of not feeling well and a profuse sweating. Normally these people are still have their mental facilities intact, so they're able to answer questions appropriately, but they, if left in these elements and not treated, they can and will lead to more severe illnesses. And he says alcohol compounds the problem, leaving people dehydrated, making poor decisions. So alcohol is not our friend on these hot days. People need to drink water and other electrolyte type fluids to stay hydrated, do their activities earlier in the day, especially if they're going to be outside working out, uh, working in the yard. These types of things need to be accomplished early in the day. We found people at Folsom Lake taking the right precautions. Ice, big goat, 7-Eleven. Got to stay hydrated, make sure I'm drinking water throughout the day. Um, and then I actually don't drink too much, so I'm not consuming too much alcohol out there on the lake because that'll lead to big problems. Water, 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 water all day beforehand. It's too late by the time you get out here if you haven't been hydrating. And maybe you're indoors right now with the air conditioner going. Well, let me describe what it's like outside. If somebody blindfolded me and just put me in this environment, I would say it was the middle of the afternoon it feels like the sun is still out in the 10 o'clock hour. Reporting live in Granite Bay, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News. Uh, Dennis, 